Hello, this episode of The Line went out on Sunday, just gone by, and Matt in this clip is going to explain what his strategy is with bigots who call in. Now, this comes off the back of a call where there was some um, sort of tone policing, etc. Jimmy Snow has just said that for anybody who is criticizing the show, if they can do better, he will help them to uh, set up a call-in show, show them how all the software works, etc. And um, even invite them onto the line if they think they can do better. So um, I personally, obviously I've got a channel and I do get criticism. Personally, I never say to people, if you can do better, then go and start your own channel. I never say that because obviously you either want to, you either want to be in this business or you don't. It's my business and I accept criticism in the same way that um, if I owned a shop or if I owned a restaurant and I had a complaint from the client, then I wouldn't say to them, go and start your own restaurant. I would listen to what they're saying and decide whether their complaint had any merit. So, well, I've got my own way of doing things and Jimmy's got his own way of doing things. So um, either he's prepared to listen to and consider criticism or he will rebut it and just say to people, well, come and set up your own show and see if you can do better. But moving on, let's have a listen to what Matt's got to say about how he's going to deal with bigots. Are saying that, hey, respect means, you know, you just sit there and you, you, you just play nice with everybody. No, if you're a bigot and I'm going to, I'm not going to immediately just, if we're having a conversation, if you say something bigoted, I'm not going to go right off the bat. Hey, you're a bigoted piece of shit. Get out of here. Go, go away. I'd like to say Matt has done that. He has done exactly that many times. No, I'm going to have a conversation. I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to expose that bigotry. And then you have a choice. Then you either get to change your position and acknowledge that you were wrong and a piece of shit and don't want to be, or you get called the piece of shit that you want to be. Yeah. I don't need to play nice with a Ku Klux Klan. I don't need to play, play nice with white supremacists. I don't need to respect their views or anything else. I'm affording them the rights to continue persisting and existing in the nation that we all share only to the extent that they aren't making life miserable and deadly for other people. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, let's see what happens in the future with calls of that type and see whether Matt's as good as his word. I know that, uh, to be fair, uh, if somebody calls in with controversial view, he will generally, uh, try to engage with them and maybe try to reason with them. Uh, yeah. And as you said, and then call them a bigoted piece of shit if they don't change their position. So personally, I've never seen anybody change their position. There's always a first time. So I would look forward to that. But Matt has also, in the middle of a conversation, if somebody has said a transphobic view uh, statement, um, I have heard him suddenly say, well, you're a bigoted piece of shit, you know, goodbye, jackass, and then just put the phone down. Yeah, I mean, he's done that. He's done that as well. So, but in view of the standard he's now set himself, I will be interested to see how he conducts his affairs in the future with transphobes, with racists etc and let's see what happens okay that's all for now i'll be back with another video very soon thanks for watching